Hello everyone, Ken here, back with another video for you. Today, I'm gonna to show you nine different ways that you can make some extra money as a data scientist or with the data science skill set. As you know, data scientists do make a pretty, pretty good living to begin with. I believe the median salary is around uh, $120,000 or a little bit over that. But many data scientists have to pay off student loans. I'm in that boat. Uh, they might want to save for a house, they might want some extra income to support a new business they're trying to get up and running or anything like that. So if, if you're in this boat or you just to like to make a little bit of extra cash with this skill set, these are some options for you. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you wouldn't mind, please subscribe and share if you enjoy content similar to this. The first way to make a little extra income is through writing for Medium or starting your own blog. I occasionally write a Medium article or two to supplement my YouTube videos. I also sometimes go into a bit more depth in the articles I write compared to the videos that I make. So if you're interested in those, there's a link in the description below. For writing, writing for Medium, the account was very easy to set up. It was very easy to write, publish, and edit. And it was also easy to make a couple bucks here and there. My first article made, you know, five, 10 bucks. And every month I get between, you know, zero and basically a hundred dollars for the things that I've written in the past. Medium pays by how many people have viewed your, your article and how much of the article that they viewed. So if you write good content, you can make uh, reasonable money here. There isn't a ton of upside. I don't think any article that I write has ever made more than maybe 50, 60, 70 bucks, but it is real income and it, you know, is delivered to you relatively quickly. On the other hand, if you have a bit more time and you're interested in writing and creating content, uh, making your own blog is perhaps an option with more upside. If you have your own blog and you can generate traffic to it, you're good at SEO and some of that stuff you can eventually build something big enough where you can create a lot of money uh, from running ads on it. So if again, if you have time to be able to create that type of content and you want to deal with maybe a little bit of a headache there, uh, definitely, I definitely recommend exploring that option as well. The second way that I would recommend making money as a data scientist is through Kaggle competitions or top coder competitions. These, Platforms give you the opportunity to practice your skills and compete for prizes. You do have to really work hard and put a lot of time in with perhaps a very little chance of you actually winning these competitions. But if you win a Kaggle competition, you win a top coder competition, you can make anywhere from a couple hundred to fifty, a hundred thousand dollars. So if you really believe in your skills, if you're doing some really cutting edge data science, this is a, a, perhaps a great option for you. Even if you don't win these competitions, they look great on your resume and you are able to improve your skills through working on these. The third way that you can potentially generate some extra income is through doing some contract work, some contract data science. There's great platforms like Upwork where you can make a profile and have people come to you. There's also contracting networks that are a bit more privatized that if you Google them, you'll, you'll be able to find some options there. Contract work, it does rely on a, bit, a little bit of a backlog and you have to establish some credibility in a network before you really get work. I've done some contracting again through my network and it's worked out pretty well for me. I've enjoyed that experience. One benefit to this is if you're working for a, a consulting firm, the consulting firm takes a lot out of the overhead. If you're working as an individual contractor, you get to keep the majority of the payment that is coming your way. Now there are some tax implications for this. So I would make sure if you are doing some contracting work to talk with a CPA. The fourth way that you can potentially make some good extra income is by creating a data science product. I see online there's some, you know, you know, for example, like a BMI calculator, I guess that doesn't really use a ton of uh, data science, but if you wanted to build a, a model that, for example, projected the probability that someone might get type two diabetes, this could be a, a product you put online, it could be free to use and you, you get traffic through that website 
uh, because it might be well optimized for search. That way you can, you can run ads on that website and potentially make some money. There's other types of products that you, know, you might be able to productionize and get a additional return out of, but a simple website that generates traffic out of something cool is always a good option in my opinion. The fifth option is if you're feeling a bit more risky. So I've always been interested in sports gambling and daily fantasy sports. And I believe that if you're a data scientist and you have interests in this area, there is opportunities for you to create an advantage on the house or against other betters. So if again, if you're feeling a bit more risky and you're comfortable with potentially losing some money, I think that this is a potentially really good opportunity for you. Now there's some websites out there like Roto Grinders that can get you started. And I think that there are a lot of really fun optimization problems, simulation problems, and machine learning problems uh, that can be applied within this sports realm. The federal government has recently uh, lifted the ban on sports betting across the country, and it's up to individual state governments to determine if they want it to be legal within their borders. So a lot of states are moving towards legalizing this, and there's going to be a huge influx of uh, bet volume as well as opportunities to place bets in the near future. So if, again, if this is something that you're interested in and you have a high risk tolerance, it could be a really fun area where you could create some extra income. The sixth place where you can make some extra income is through either tutoring or teaching a course at a university. Both of these options provide a great way for you to brush up on some of the basics and to kind of uh, polish your skills and, and your presenting ability. You can make really good money as a tutor if you're in the right area. I remember when I was taking the GMAT for grad school, uh, GMAT tutors were making like $100 an hour, which I thought was absolutely outrageous. But if people are willing to pay it and you do a good job, there is an opportunity here. Teaching a, a class, either as an adjunct professor or as an actual professor, uh, gives you access to a lot of university resources. I don't know if the income is particularly good, but you, you do get to put this on your resume and it can lead to other opportunities in the future. I think that there's a lot of power having at least a little bit of work in academia and you can leverage that by taking this option. The seventh way that you can make a little bit of extra income with this skill set is through finance. Right now, Robinhood has a, uh, an API that you can use and you can create a little bit of an automated trading algorithm if this is something that you have experience in and you're good at. Now, there's also some other websites like Quantopian where you can submit a, an actual algorithm that you've built and if it makes them money, they will actually pay you for it. So I think that that's a really cool option. The Quantopian approach doesn't really have any risk associated with it on your end. So I would definitely explore that if you're interested in finance and you are able to apply data science in that realm. I've linked a link to Robinhood as well as the Quantopian website in the description below. The eighth way to make some extra money here is through data aggregation. This is similar to uh, the fourth one, which was creating a product, but you know they say that data is the currency of the future, and I'm a firm believer in that. I see a lot of companies that you know they're charging by API calls for you to actually access their data, and if you're privy to a data source that most people aren't, I think that you know selling that information at a small fee is very reasonable. So I would collect a lot of information legally. Um, and if you have a customer base that is willing to pay for it, definitely explore that and try and understand that and try and leverage that. The last way that you could potentially make a little extra income with this skill set is through YouTube. Now I make my content because I enjoy mentorship. I also actually have a lot of fun making these videos, but on the other side of that, there is potential to make some money. So if you get to a couple thresholds, I believe it's a thousand subscribers and over 4,000 hours of watch time, you can make money through advertisements. There's also the ability to make money through affiliate marketing. I do this. If, if you click on any of the Amazon links, I get a small commission on anything that you buy through those. 
Again, that's a couple bucks here and there. And any of that money, I generally try to give back to my audience either through uh, free books or through extra content. Almost all affiliate marketing is at no cost or actually a benefit to the consumers. Most companies usually give a small discount to purchase or to you know, work through an affiliate. So this is a win-win for, for both parties. I only really promote products that I truly believe in and I would recommend that you do the same as well. If there's anything that I missed, please leave your thoughts on that in the comment section below. And as usual, thank you for watching and good luck on your data science journey.